Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday to us all. Not long now to the weekend. We're getting closer and closer, which is what we want to see. Um, where you left us off last, we finished the season up for definite. Um, and um, we finished sixth in the league, 49 points. Um, we could do better next season, though. But yeah, we've done well for what was expected from us. Um, just check. See if we've got any future transfers. We've got quite a few future transfers lined up. So we've got a few players out like Musquee's going, Danders going, Adini's going. You know, they will be missed, but their time is up here at the club. We've got Hoyland coming in on a permanent transfer, same as Maldini. Um, we've got a few free transfers that we've got from young players getting released. We've got Marcus uh, Dewhurst coming in, who's a very good goalkeeper. Uh, Hood in. Baba Fenny, Liber, and Breen, whatever his name is. Um, we have signed other players as well that have come in recently. Um, this one here, Thomas Escalante, who can obviously play in a lot of positions. Um, we do need to get a left back, I think, to be honest. Have we sold anybody since the last? No. So, yeah. So, um, this episode and probably the next episode is going to be pretty much me just doing a live run through the, the transfer window pre-season before we hit the new season. So this episode, next episode, if you're only here to watch the football matches being played, then this probably ain't the episode for you. So feel free to leave now um, if you want. I'm not asking you to because I do appreciate your support, but I'm just saying I don't want to be bored. So yeah, so Enrique is going to leave. Abdul Abdui is going to leave, who didn't really play. Scott McGill's going to leave. He was he never really progressed any further than he could have. Uh, we're going to try and sign him on a new contract. Kieran Wilcox can leave because he's not good enough as well. Sorry, I had an itch on my leg then. Um, right, so we're not going to get any tax bills. Um, yep. So our finances are looking pretty good. We've got a new scouting budget. So our scouting budgets, we need to just... There we go. Uh, we'll max that out because we always benefit from our scouts. Let's see if we've got any potential good free transfers. He'd be pretty good. Uh, Nathan Ferguson, only 25. So what I wanted to do was sign some notable players that we remember. That's why I like it like, like a Deli Alley type of player, but I don't think we'll be able to sign anybody like that. Leon King. He was always a good player at Rangers, wasn't he? Only two years uh, only twenty two years old, sorry. Alan Forrest. Mm, I don't want to sign too many because they probably won't all end up playing. McKirk would probably be a good sign in though. No, he doesn't want to come. Uh I'm trying to figure out how you search for players through, uh, I think it's through reputation, isn't it? And if you, yeah, that's what we'll do. Right, players. Uh, we'll just do Reese clear. World reputation, there we go. At least, I don't know what it's supposed to be, 100, is it? No, it's not 100. What is it? In between. So we do 500 to 1,000 maybe. It still gives us way too many players. Ah, oh, done then. I need to go big. Sorry, my, my laptop was bleeping. I don't know what was. Uh, maybe I've gone too big there. Oh, I don't know. Why is my laptop playing up? Maybe I just need to get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. Search by international caps. That's the easiest way to do it, I think. Get rid of you. Right, so let's have a look.
and that and then what we'll do is uh, based where's based uh, general based in England so that will hopefully Jeff Henrik, don't think he's big enough of a player for us to sign. Frank Onika, no. I want like a Deli Alley type of player. Just nobody really standing out here. No. Let's keep going. Stephen Corker, 28 years old. He's not like up there with the Delhi Alleys. Uh, weirdly playing for MK Dons, who also Delhi Alley played for. Yeah, there's nobody really standing out, is there? Jody Jones. Mm. Nah. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. A Donny van der Beek. Yes, we'll have some of that, mate. Where is it? Oh, has it gone all the way to the... Where's he gone? There we go, we did Stephen Corker. Oh, let's keep going down here now. Yeah, Donny van der Beek, there you go. Maury Bell would be a good player, actually. I'm just going to... Yeah, left back as well, I need a good left back. Right, why is it playing up? Just, what are you doing? Oh. God's sake. Nakamura, I don't know. Casey Palmer, there we go, it's working again now. Um, so I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody here. Yeah, okay, All right, let's scroll down now. Uh, Dennis Prate, no, wasn't big enough of a player. Jordan James. Mm. They're all like you. They're all still quite young, aren't they? So they're all pretty good. I don't want pretty good players. I want old players. Old. I want Delhi Alley type of players. A lot of Jamaican players. I could just sign all the Jamaican team, couldn't I? Uh, Sam Magrino. Yeah, I think a lot of these we a lot of the players, the standout players that I'm thinking about, they probably just won't come to us. But Danny Donny Van der uh, Van der Beek though would be a good signing, I think. Just keep going. You never know. You never know who we might come across. Yeah, I think we're clutching at straws here. Oh, GMD Fuchis. Nathan Ferguson, who we're already trying to sign. Nathan Redmond, there you go. I wouldn't say he's like a massive improvement, but sign him as well. Right. And 
emergency backup. That doesn't give me much confidence. He's probably going to be like a two-star player at the most. <laughs> Costing six million as well. Uh, right, I just want to check this player here. I don't know if he's still quite... No, not Marcus. Mikel. Is it Mikel? Is it like... Mikel and... Oh, it's not, it's not giving us any of the players I want. West, West Ham, is he still at West Ham? Right, players. Name. There we go. Mikel, Antonio. We bring him in. Right, let's see if we can bring him in. Good little target forward to have as an uh, option on the bench. I'm trying to think of other players, older players. I could probably think about loads if I wasn't if I didn't have the pressure on me now. Actually, shall I have a look at the Scotland national team? Maybe we look at bringing in. Players from there. We go age. Now oh, he won't go to us anyways. Playing for it. Who's he playing for? Celtic, can he? Now probably won't be able to sign any of these actually. No, I was uh, silly for thinking we could. Let's have a look at who is on the transfer list. Let's see if we can find somebody through that. So we'll do that, we'll get rid of that, and we'll go transfer listed. Now what we'll do, do it by transfer value, Connor Chapman maybe, 29 years old, would probably be up there for what we want. Nah, it's too expensive, too much. Not paying nine million for him. Uh, Dennis Prate, which we looked at earlier. A lot of these are strikers, which I don't necessarily need because I've got Hoyland. Yeah, none of these players are really like screaming to me to sign. Which is a shame. Yeah, now nah, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave the DOF to do it. Get him to bring us in some good players. Amari Bell, there you go. So it, it probably won't have any breaks in this one. It'll just be literally me just doing a live going through this. Oh, we've got to buy him and just call him bloody Rocky Balboa. We've got to rename him Rocky Balboa, haven't we? It's got to be done. There we go. They want two and a half K for him. Oh, come on, let's sign him. Star player. I don't care how much money you want, Rocky. You're coming to us. Ah, oh, Mikko Antonio retiring. That's a shame. It's slow this bit, isn't it? Right, 
we've signed him. Love us as a free transfer South American player. Diarte's happy. I'm not happy with you, Diarte, though. But you'll do for now. He's happy. That's good. Right, let's sign you on a new contract. Uh, oh, I don't want that. Twelve and a half. No, we're not having that. We're not offering you a new contract until you get rid of that. Matthews, you can go. I don't care how loved you are by the fans. You'll just you'll just do me in. Leonard, you can go as well because you're moaning. I don't like moaners at the club. There we go. He's got rid of his agent. Does that mean... Come on. No, I don't want... No. No, no. I'm sick of this. No. I was hoping if he got a new new agent, Rui, I was hoping that um, it would eliminate that minimum fee clause. I'll only do that in a year's time when he's... Well, just before any, just before a year's time, because his contract we still got him for two years. Uh, yeah, two years. So we've still got like six months. We'll we'll see what the situation is in January or before that, and we'll hope for the best. Sign Corker, sign Redmond. Those are the type of players that are originally signed, like high reputation players. Players that people remember from the good old days. If Aaron Lennon was still playing, I would be signing Aaron Lennon. Theo Walcott, I'd be signing him. Oh, Gary Rue and David Fraser. So he's another one we need to watch out for. Sign him to a new contract. Yep, yeah, we've signed a Mari Ball. Uh, let me see if Alex Chamberlain, let's see if he's still playing. He is still playing. Scout him. See if we can sign. Probably won't, probably won't come to us, so. Let's see. No. That's a shame. Um, who else? Let's do this and then we'll go. Um, uh, there we go. Right. Edit search. Uh, if we do nationality, English, I think it's international caps in it. Uh, I have got the in game editor, I'm not using it for this save, so don't panic. I don't use it for any saves that I do online. General, general, international. Uh, it is somewhere, isn't it? I've already gone past it. Oh, I'll just do that. What am I doing? And then just do that and then just do international there we go Jake Livermore there you go too old though he's not he's not going to make any difference to us Jack Cork again too old wouldn't make any difference Martin Kelly nah, too old as well I can't believe Martin Kelly had an, in, an international cap oh well it was worth a try uh actually let's try it for, for Scotland Scottish, there we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh man, imagine if we signed McTominay. I'll be buzzing about that. Uh, he's too old. 
But Tomini might be that type of transfer that we want. Jack Henry, I'm going to sign in. Liam Cooper. Uh, no, I won't sign Liam Cooper. Stephen O'Donnell. No. Callum Patterson would be a good player. He's good at set pieces, I think, or crossing, if I remember. Johnny Russell. Still playing for Sporting Kansas City. Probably a good option to have as a mentor, more than anything else. Graham Shinney. Nah, no, too old, Graham Shinney. Oh, Kevin Nesbitt. He'd be a good player. I'll be buzzing if we sign Bloody McTominay. One of my favourite players in real life. Danny Wilson. That former Liverpool... Oh, Rangers player, yeah. Rangers and Liverpool player, yeah. Can't believe he's still playing football after all these years. Alan Campbell. There we go. We'll, get, we'll just have the team full of uh, ex... Scottish Scottish internationals, that'd be good. Ross Stewart would be a good signer. Robbie McCory. Yeah, why not? Uh who else? Who else, who else, who else? We already had Stephen Kingsley at the club. Leon King, who was signing on a free transfer. No, not Stevie May. No, Tony Watt. Mm, no. I'll leave us up. I'll be happy with that. Yes, McTomley, get over here, mate. I'll give you whatever you want. You'll be my new captain as well. Actually, let's have a look at Russell. If he's worth bringing in as a mentor. Oh, apparently, he's got no personality on here. Right, we're bringing in some Scottish lads in. There we go. They'll go alongside nicely with Balboa. I think that'll be our transfer business done unless somebody amazing comes along. So that means we can just get through this as quick as possible. We've got a few international players coming in there. Not giving you six million. Uh, that's more accepting. I think Ross Stewart would actually be a good signing for us as a striker. It'd be a good um, backup option for Hoyland or competition for him as well. Might bring out the best in Hoyland. Oh, we've got all these teams after, apparently after him, but nobody's making any offers for him. Right, if I just offer some of the wage, hopefully that'll help shift you out of here. Yeah, we'll get rid of you. If we're signing Ross Stewart, we might as well get rid of you. Uchi. Uh, we'll give them some of the wage as well. Get you out the door. <laughs> Ah, uh, Leon King didn't go to us in the end. That's a shame. He'd have been a good, nice little signing with the other Scottish players. We'll keep it on the shortlist, though. You never know. So, yeah, because we've signed Hoyland on a permanent deal. So, his potential value has gone down massively. But hopefully that'll change. Maldini. Oh, bloody hell. 14 to 17 million. His value's gone up massively. We can make some decent money on him if we end up selling him. We've got some players after Swanson. 
Uh, I think we could get somebody better than Swanson in. So that's for a 20% profit. We'll offer you some of your wage. Yep, that's fine. Rory McCory and Callum Patterson and Johnny Russell are joined, and so is McTominay. Get in. Yep, so we've got rid of a few players instead of including Enrique. I don't want him here anymore. So we'll hopefully get rid of him. I'll just get whatever I get for him. 30k, whatever, that's fine. We'll give you some of the wages. Uh, you didn't really make it. Oh no, you are, you are actually pretty good actually. Uh, we need to apply for your work permit though. We might not be able to keep you for work permit issues. Jack Hamilton, you can go. Uh, yeah, Mason, you can go. You're not. You're not very good. Uh. Harry Warren, you're pretty good. We'll offer you a new contract. Can we extend your loan at Bolton? No, we can't. You're not very good, Simpson. You haven't worked out well. Yeah. Uh, can we set your contract to release? No, we can't. Right. Craig Fisher, yep, you're pretty good. Let's offer you a new contract. Uh, Robinson, you're pretty good. We'll offer you a new contract. Finley Curtis, we're producing some good young players. Whether any of them actually get through into the first team is a different story altogether. In an ideal world, we'd end up having a team full of youth academy products. I don't think Rafe Rovers, I, I think that's a different save. I don't think that's for Rafe Rovers. I think... Rafe Rovers is more about signing high reputation players and international players like from South America. Right, Nisbet's come in. But at least we've got a few Scottish players in, so that might help with squad registration, things like that. Yeah, so Van, Van der Beek, who we are signing, uh, is only two and a half stars. Who is he? Is it Altringham? Is he on loan there or is he actually playing for him? I know he's. Oh, he's signed for Altringham. That was a good signing by Altringham, though. You think about it, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're practically giving Uchi away because I don't. I think we're only getting like six hundred k for him, and we've got to pay his agent off, pay his agent half of it. But he's disgraceful, right? We we never want him to ever come back to the club ever again. He didn't really do well in the end. Actually, did he? Let's have a look. Let's... Uh, he was all right. I, I don't. I don't think we'll bother bringing him back there. Yeah, it was pretty good. We'll ask for that. There we go. Happy days. Uh. Yeah, how long have we done? What have we done so far? Right, okay. So, a couple more minutes and then I'll call this episode to an end. Uh, we'll scout all of these. If there's anybody worth signing, we'll sign them. Ross Stewart's come in. Apparently they want us to sign him as a priority. Uh, might be too close to being Wonder Kid. No, we're not paying that much for him. 
He looked too much like a wonder kid. We're not we're not signing wonder kids here. Uh, do we look at getting rid of Dorigo while we still can? Yeah, we're going to get rid of Dorigo. He didn't really. He only played three games, but he played rubbish in every single game for us. Uh, we'll offer some of his wage out to try and get rid of him. Fraser signed a new contract. Uchi gets a call up to the Uganda team. I will be, uh, for people who don't know, I will be, I have said it a few times on that episode, but I will be starting a save with SC Vipers in the Ugandan League and also managing the Ugandan national team starting Fridays on Twitch. So twitch.tv forward slash Lucha FM. So yeah, so I'll be doing that 2, 2 p.m. UK time on a Friday, every Friday. So yeah, so come along if you want to watch something different. The aim of the save is to try and produce as many good players as possible for the Ugandan national team. I want to try and get as many Ugandan national, international players playing in Europe and places like that. So try and get more Ugandan players exposure in the big leagues. All right repealed the work permit thing right so i think this will probably be i'll just wait for this to finish and i'll see if there's any news and i'll call it a day for this episode uh it's not been the most exciting episodes but at least we've made some good signings so yeah so i'll be back tomorrow with the next part of the transfer window special um so yeah enjoy, thanks again enjoy the rest of your day and i'll speak to you soon bye